Hey guys, it's Andrea from the blog Pine and Prospect Home, and I want to do something a little bit different today. My sweet husband is filming for me, and I'm going to show you inside our sunroom and kind of show you guys what we have going on out there. So, I haven't really shown you our sunroom before. You've seen bits and pieces on my blog. A long time ago, like three years ago, I tried to do an office space out here, but it was way too cold in the winter because the walls aren't insulated. And this year, we have finally decided to tackle this room and make it usable all year long. So let me show you what we've been up to in this space. We have these beautiful French doors that lead into the room and I absolutely love them. They have the original hardware on them, which is so beautiful. Um, but if you come on in, so you may have seen photos of our piano that I got for free that someone gave to us. I painted that piano and it was right here. Um, but my poor son, when he practiced in the winter time, it was so cold. He had to wear his coat to practice piano. So we really needed to do something about this space and make it functional even during the winter. So you might have noticed, and I'm sorry if my voice is echoing in here, but you may have noticed the holes in the walls. <laughs> um, so just yesterday, my husband decided to insulate these walls all on his own. Basically, it was a very dirty job. My husband and I worked on it all day long. I was turning the machine on and off while he filled all of the walls with insulation. So we're hoping that makes a big difference in here once the colder months come. So now that we have all these holes in the wall, <laughs> you may have noticed this beadboard paneling laying all over the place. We have a lot of leftover beadboard paneling from older projects. So we think we have enough to do the whole room. We'll find out. But I have some fun plans and some fun ideas for this space. One of the things that I'd really love to do on this wall is have my husband build some floor to ceiling shelves. And then I want to have a window seat that goes the length of these three windows. And then over here, we're gonna have floor to ceiling shelves as well. So it'll be this beautiful built-in unit and people can come and sit under the window. I would love to have some sconces that come out of the shelves for some lighting. So I'll show you my plans for that. I drew it all out for my husband on some graph paper. It's not the best drawing, but it gives you an idea of what I'm kind of hoping for. These blinds were actually here when we purchased the house. Um, they make me a little bit nervous because of the cords, um, but people ask me about them all the time and they were already here when we moved in. And then my plans for this wall are, are pretty exciting. I'm sorry about the mess in here. If you remember, maybe you watched my before and after video of our home, there was a giant orange closet in this space. And one of the first things we did when we moved in was tear that closet out but we left the bottom portion of it down here and we made like a little bench seat out of it but we never really utilized that space it kind of just held a lot of junk and so we tore that out last week and my husband is in the process of piecing some beadboard into these into these gaps and we're really lucky to discover an outlet right here which he's going to replace these lines that you see here aren't going to matter much. I know you're not supposed to butt beadboard up against itself like that, but this is all going to be hidden. So you may have noticed these two units here. I have this really pretty desk and then this little file cabinet. My parents gave them to me. They weren't using them anymore and so I decided to take them. And I saw this picture a couple months ago and I'll show it to you guys. Um, it's from my friend Amanda's home over at Sincerely Marie Designs. She just finished her office last fall and they did this beautiful sort of built-in desk look and she happened to have a shelf above it with corbels just like mine and it just gave me this inspiration for something very similar with like a built-in desk area in this space. So we are going to try to 
combine this desk and this file cabinet in this area and create this beautiful sort of built-in desk unit. And so, of course, it'll all get, you know, once it's all finished and pieced together, it'll all be painted the same color so it all looks seamless. But I'm really excited to have my own office space as my blog grows. It's just, it's nice to have a space to go to and not have, you know, my blog equipment sort of all over, scattered all over the house. Um, we're going to keep the piano in here, and I've actually been having a lot of fun painting lately. It's become a new hobby of mine during quarantine, so I think it would even be beautiful to have an easel out here to be able to paint. There's so much natural light. I mean, I just feel inspired the moment I come out in this space, and I've just been wanting for so long to finish it and get it to where we can use it all year. So those are my plans for the space. That's pretty much it. I think the only other thing is that I would like to replace the light fixture in here. It's just sort of a basic ceiling fan right now. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tour of our sunroom. Just a couple more updates for you guys. If you've been following along, our shed has come a long way, but we got some very cold weather this week, so we kind of had to pause all work on the shed. Um, it's just too cold to work out there. We've had some snow this week. And then the reason I'm dressed like this is because I've been working on our mantle all morning. Our 100 year old barn beam mantle is almost complete and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So that'll be coming soon as well. Well, thank you so much for watching guys. If you are new to my channel, please be sure and hit that subscribe button and special thanks to my husband for, for filming this video for me. Bye guys, see you later.